Hey y'all, I'm Tion and I'm half of a duo of O Toodles on UIC Radio, and I'm here with the band Cosmic Balrog. Do yeah. you guys like to introduce yourselves? What do you do? Or I'm Milo. I play guitar. I'm Scary Fingers, the bassist. I'm Gavin. I play drums. Okay, cool. So, like, how did y'all meet? How did we get here? Ooh. It all began. <laughs> yeah, it all began with MD, who is like the fourth secret men. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rest Speak in peace. On it? <laughs> no. Um, alive. Yeah, he's alive. He's just somewhere else, right? So now. okay, <laughs> we we met, and I didn't know who you were because we met at the at the cafeteria. Yeah. You were wearing a, a sweatshirt from my high school. I was like, oh, did you go there? And you said no. I yeah. No. And <laughs> I then we met again recently because we lived in the same dorm, and you lived. Did you? You lived in the same dorm, but like. Yeah, you I did. Knew, you, oh, you did. Okay, you two knew each other, and then uh, you were in a band with MD. Yeah. And then, but how did when that I, begin? When I was in the laundry room doing my laundry, I saw this flyer, and it was like, looking for people for my like punk band. And I was like, why not? So then like, I like, you know, texted the not person. Not listening to any punk music ever. No, not at all. I mean, but I really wanted to be in a band. I was like, I know how to play guitar, and I'm like, I'm sure I can figure it out. And then next thing you know, I'm meeting up with Sophie and, and MD. You know, when I saw the flyer, the night before I had a dream that I was asked to join this random band. I'm like, oh, but I have a bass, I guess. And then the next day I was like walking along and I turn around, I'm like, there's a flyer for a band. Yeah. Yeah, and it said Howdy on there. It's like, whoa. So I saw Please. the I saw these two play at like a, a talent show or what was it? It was Yeah, it was, no, it was, it was, it was like, yeah. But And we don't um, remember you being there. I mean also no, friends no, with you Gavin. Do because I, t- I talked with these two because I was like, You guys need a drummer, I'll join and I've never played drums before. Um and you guys were like, yeah, maybe. And then like then we didn't bring it up for another like eight months. And then you guys still didn't have a drummer, so I joined and we practiced at a place with one single snare drum. N- yeah, we practiced that, and then we practiced at a uh, a uh, place that we aren't allowed to anymore because they kicked oh. us out. Yeah. yeah. Why did they kick you out? Uh, okay, we, 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 it was it was it was another college. Yeah, it was Columbia. We were Columbia. allowed to play there, but we technically aren't allowed to be play there anymore just because like we don't go there. Yeah. I don't know. Essentially. But yeah, I went and it was scary because I didn't know how to play, but I like learned. And now I I somewhat play the drums. Oh, he plays real well. Don't be so modest. Right. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> all right, all right. So what led you to the guitar? Um, I've been playing ever since I was younger. My mom like got me some classical guitar lessons, so I Hi. learned that for a while. And then like I they just got me like an electric guitar in fifth grade and that's the guitar I still have to this very day. I just took She's off. a little yeah. She's a little busted, but I make it work. And, you know, there you go. Did you? Did you start? Um, no, I started no. with the guitar in high school, and then I was in college, and I can't remember. I think I was just listening to music. I'm like, I want to play those bass lines. I should get a bass. So then I got a bass, but I'm like, I need five strings. You got? You have a five string bass? Uh, yes. How yeah. Do you not? I oh. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Her main bass, yeah. You utilize My that main bass. Only have one. I thought you have yes, one. No. Oh, what? why would you start on a five? Never mind. Sorry. What do you mean why? <laughs> because I had a guitar um, before, so I'm like guys. <sighs> I started playing drums <laughs> because uh, I'm like I don't I'm like uh, I always have music playing in my head, and I'm always like for some reason I'm always like tapping along with the drums. So like I didn't know how to play drums, but I like, in my head kind of learned it as I grew up and just always was listening to music in my head during like school um so then i think when i picked it up it kind of came naturally just because i like uh i like even when i'm not practicing i'm kind of mentally practicing just like not knowing i don't know i feel like i'm always like mapping it i don't i don't because i don't own a drum set so like when i but when i come back to play a drum set i'm always better because i'm always like thinking about it Mm. so i don't know i'm just like a very drum like that like minded person, I guess. I don't know. Solid, solid. So, what kind of music do you guys play? Ooh, mm. that's a hard question to answer. <laughs> well, yeah, we did start as a punk band, but I think it turned into something completely different. Yeah, it's still definitely uh, some of our music is like has roots in punk, but is also more like leaning towards like just an indie kind of, and not as in like not even the indie genre, but just kind of. We just kind of songwrite, and then yeah. wherever, like, I feel like every song we make kind of leans more into it, more of, like, a genre or not. Some of them are more, like, punk-sounding, and a lot of them aren't, though, so. Yeah. I would say, like, yeah, like, indie, punk, rock, like, it's just, I think we all have, like, interest in different music, and then we all, like, mesh them together. Yeah. I would also say it's, like, it's a little bit experimental as well, so it's just mm-hmm. a lot of things. Yeah. 
So, how do you guys write your songs? Are you more of a Renee rap and you're like in weird positions, like upside down and words just come to your head? Are you a Tyler, the creator, looking at images and then you just start flying off the tongue? Like, what's going on here? We can start with the last song we came up with. It's I got to band practice early, so I just started playing on the bass. I'm like, okay. And then I just kept adding notes because I'm like, this needs more. And then Milo was grilling a ham sandwich. <laughs> I don't know how you, like, you had literally a frying pan for your ham sandwich. And then you're like, came over, you're like, oh, that's good. And then you started adding guitar. And then eventually Gavin showed up. Yeah, because I got out of class last, yeah. so I showed up later. Um, yeah, I think we all, like, just, like, build on each other. We, like, mm -hmm. put out suggestions and, like, whatever sticks, sticks. Yeah, a lot of times we come in with our own stuff, too. I know, like, a lot of times I'll be, like, almost falling asleep, and I'll, like, just be, like, thinking of something, and I'll be like, that song doesn't exist, and then I'll, like, make a little thing out of GarageBand. That happens to me all the time. Yeah, yeah but I never remember it in the morning. I always, I always make, like, a little demo on GarageBand that sounds awful, but gets the point across so I can remember it later. That's, an, that's a great idea, because, like, every time I fall asleep, like, I start making songs in my head, I'm like, that sounds amazing, but then I never, I just yeah. knock out. <laughs> but a lot, a lot of times it's, like, we come up with something on our own and bring it in and then I'll work on it together until exactly. it becomes something like different because it's all of us. Mm -hmm. Have you ever like disagreed on lyrics or like meshed and it just didn't go right and how'd you overcome that? Or... I feel mm. like we're very early in our like lyric making <laughs> our um, journey. Yeah, lyric making journey. Um, but I feel like something I think we're good at is like, I don't know, just like talking with each other and like figuring out what works. We don't really like ever like Oh, that sounds bad, and like, yeah. you know, get upset at each other. We're very like forgiving with each other. I'd say. Yeah, I agree. I mean, um, all the lyrics I've written, I like throw them out because I don't think they're good. But I'm, I like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back with some good stuff. But like, I feel like all the stuff that you guys come up with is good. Um, and we're still practicing. Yeah, we're know? definitely we're still we're like, building our yeah. like. We're Learn building everything. as you grow. Exactly. Speaking mm -hmm. of growing, um, on my show we talk about our childhood. So would you say that when you were young, did you want to be in a band, or did this just happen because boom, college happened? Or was this like a goal? Or did no, this just... I wanted to be in a band. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I can't think of the first time I thought of it. It's like, oh yeah, I would play the drums when I was like eight or something. And then in high school, I'm like, I want to play guitar and have a band. And then I had like some, I had a friend that played bass and I had a friend that played ukulele. So we would like practice music together, but we weren't a band because, because one of my friends was like, I don't see this going anywhere. I'm like, well, it's, if you think that way, then it won't. So yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I've been playing like guitar for a while and I've like seen people in bands. I never, I guess it's something that always like mildly interested me. You know what I'm saying? It's not something mm -hmm. I ever like would like seek out. But like I saw the fly flyer and I'm like, I know how to play guitar and I'm bored, so why not? I always kind of had an interest in music, but I definitely never wanted to be in a band until the past couple of years because I've talked about this a lot with like you and radio friends and stuff, but I was like, uh, I was very like anxious to, for whatever reason, I was anxious for people to know like I had a music taste, like my parents and my family, I was like, they can't know I listen to music. And my dad like shared an Apple Music account with me, so I was like, he can't know I listen to music. So I just like didn't listen to very much music at all until um, really like senior year of high school and college. And then, I mean, from there, I just like became more important to me. And I was like, I mean, I saw you guys and I was like, might as well like ask because why not? I was trying really hard to like do stuff that I didn't want to do before. And I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable with it now, so. Okay, yeah. so we had the vision, we have the songs and we have the pieces. So how did we get the name? Uh, a lot our of band debating. Band? The one we have now. Let's, let's talk about <laughs> okay, I will. I'll send you guys the like on my computer. There's like a notes, uh, like written out thing on my computer. That was like an hour and a half long section of our practice of us just talking about which name to pick and like crossing off names and stuff. It was rough. But it like it didn't start like that. Like when no. <laughs> when it was just me, Sophie, and MD. Like we also had something like that where we were just discussing with each other, and we ended up coming up with worked to death. So that was like the part one name. Um, and then I was always secretly trying to push Super Rat, but Super Rat never stuck. Um, it's just kind of like a little- hate it. So we hate it. It's like a little like inside joke between the band, like Super Rat, but that died a long time ago. And Basically. then one day, like we just decided we needed a different name. Work to death wasn't working. I don't have a job. I'm like, you know, yeah. So, so then we come, came up with Cosmic Balrog. Yeah. Which we just- It was, it was a combination of, of like a couple 
things, yeah. like Cosmic, I had other names than Balrog. I thought it was because I was trying to think of Actually, a different MD creature. Actually, MD added Cosmic. Oh yeah, MD added Cosmic. And I was thinking of a Bogart, which is a weird like creature. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I accidentally put Balrog. Cause but I that think, is... Because it's I think it's okay. part of the King Gizzard song name. But then like, we put it together. And like, yeah, yeah, but Balrog is like a thing. Oh yeah, it's from like Lord Gandalf of the Rings. Yells, yeah, yells yeah one. it's a mythical creature. Mm-hmm. Why do you think you should win Battle of the Bands? <laughs> I don't know if we should. We should. I, we're gonna have fun though. For yeah, sure. Yeah, I just want like we were actually talking about this like why we wanted to play at Battle of the Bands and like what I said is like I just want people to like enjoy something I make. I want people to like just like listen and dance and just like enjoy themselves. If mm-hmm. we win, that's cool. But like, like I said, I just want to put like us out there. Yeah, last year we played and. I, like, when we were finished, I was, like, definitely, like, happy that I was able to do that because I wouldn't something that I, that I would be, like, confident to do. But I also felt like I could have done better, and this year I want to go up and, and, like, feel like I we played something that the audience, like, could just enjoy the whole way through and just, yeah. like, exactly. enjoy, like, listening to us play. Yeah, yeah. I just want to play our songs in front of an audience, literally. I just, like, please, let's play something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and it is, like, a great feeling, like, when, like, you just, like, people are, like, just jamming to your music, and, and they just, like, and you're yeah, like, Whoa. they just like the sound of it, because, like, sometimes when I'm at a concert, I just, like, love the sound of the music, and I'm, like, wow, other people feel that way about my music, I can't believe I can give people that feeling, so. It's also a way to play a real drum set for free for me, because yeah. I don't own one, so. Yeah. We got that kid's plastic, like, <laughs> I'm using, electric. I'm using our ex-bandmate MD's little brothers, brothers uh, like, children's electronic drum set that's in my apartment, yeah. and it's, like, I'm, like, bigger than it, so, like, I'm, like, playing it, like, really tiny. It's and fun. we've, like, and, like, when we perform other places, since we don't have a real drum kit, like, he takes it on I the take bus. I take it on the bus, yeah. <laughs> I have a huge bag with the drums. We'll send you the, like, talent show videos. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. But it's, it's like, cool. it sounds good and it works. Yeah. For now, yeah, it works. I don't really want to get a drum set, though. But, like, you can't when you live in an apartment. But, yeah. Whatever. Do it, Kevin. I'll just get, like, mesh drum heads and, like, sign Exactly. Yeah. Do it. Stop stalling. That's off top. Hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, an ideal world. We have the vision. We have the people. We have the name. And ideally, you win Battle of the Bands. Who do you want to open up for? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, whoever I could think of, most of the bands I listen to, somebody's deceased oh. the band, so. <laughs> Don't ask me. Yeah, I feel like this is a question more for what like What do you Gavin. mean? Green Day. You love Green yeah, Day. Yeah, but they wouldn't come to UIC, bro. Most of the bands that I like wouldn't either. I would love to see a King Gizzard appearance, but that's probably not happening. I saw last year Alex G was up for debate on like the list of people people wanted. That would be sick. Um, Whoa. Oh boy, who else? I'd love to see like a Chicago band, like Lifeguard or Horse Girl or uh, Freak Go or something. Yeah. Um, oh, I gotta think about this for a second. Milo, you go. Well, I feel like I listen to music, but I'm way less, I don't know, I just listen to the same songs over and over. I feel like a lot of the songs we get, like, I take a lot of inspirations from the like, music you share. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this is a better question for you. Because, like, I just like the music you share for the band, because I feel like, yeah. you know, we base a lot of, like, our band personality on those. You know? Yeah. I think, I think the funniest answer would be, like, Death Grips. Um, mm-hmm. So, like, I could go to, like, a, a concert and where, like, the pinwheel hat and have a big lollipop oh, yeah. and be listening to the like, most crazy insane music but yeah I don't know I think it would. I would even love to open for someone I didn't know and I could like learn through it. Cause so I feel what like, if you like you know, open up for Sexy Red or Drake how would that make you feel? I haven't listened to Sexy Red yet but I'd love to because I have like then I can learn the music but Drake uh I don't know if that, our music would be like a good <laughs> opener for Drake well, that's not even I'm not even thinking about that oh. I'm just thinking about like It'd be crazy to meet Drake. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I would enjoy Drake as much as like like last year was great. Remy Wolf and Amina was awesome. Mm. But, um, Drake, that would uh, Drake. There's no way Drake would come, but that would be crazy. That would honest. That would be very <laughs> crazy. I think it would just be funny. Like, yeah, we opened for Drake. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Put on the resume. Yeah, I'd put that on the resume. I'd say oh, that's every person I meet. Me. <laughs> yeah, like unrelated job. Collab with anybody? Who would you collab with? You're hitting us with the hard <laughs> questions. Yeah, we have to like ponder these. I'm trying so hard not to like look at my phone at my like, like Apple Music. playlist. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like like that a little like hint for what we're much, making. Right? Maybe like Lifeguard. 
Because that would just be... I think we should totally... I Like... I know this is like a competition, but I want to make friends with like the other bands and stuff. Oh yeah. Because we can. I'd love to meet more like Chicago bands and stuff. Yeah. Because I've been getting more into that recently, mm-hmm. um, and like I want to be on the level as like other people. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I I feel like. I think that's a great answer. Any like anyone, yeah, like that in Chicago that like makes music. I'd love to just. Uh, oh, Axe and the Hatchet Man is also really fun. They're mm-hmm. from Chicago. They make a lot of fun. They're really fun live. So that'd be fun to collab with them too. Okay. You guys answer. Come on. I don't really I'm like, I said, say, I, bro. Like, <laughs> I feel like this, just I'm just like enjoying stuff. playing with our band. Like I think we're also just figuring out how to be a band right now mm. because like I feel like the beginning was a little more choppy, but we're getting like a lot better at it. Because I feel like something you don't under like I didn't understand when coming into a band is like you have to learn how to be in this like environment, and it's like a new one. Like learn how to work together as musicians and like add value as musicians. So it's been interesting. I don't know if I'm ready to work with like a whole nother band yet. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a thought. Who's a band that hasn't like released in a while that we need like, because if we collab with them, they have to release it. Carsey had Rest collab. Frank Ocean collab. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so what's your advice to people just starting out their new bands? Assuming, just- assuming they have a band already? Yeah, or if they want to start one. They want to start one, make a flyer. <laughs> Tape it in the bathrooms. My advice is just write stuff. Because, like, mm-hmm. you're probably going to write something that's maybe not great at first, but you have to get past that. Like, I, that was hard for me. Is Like, I have a bunch of, like, demos on my phone of GarageBand stuff that, like, the first ones weren't good. Mm. But, like, I feel like they're getting better, and you have to get past that stuff. So, like, just get together with people and make stuff. And it might not be, like, great at first, but just keep, like, doing it. And then you'll eventually be like more confident about stuff you make. Yeah. I com- oh, yeah. I completely agree with that. I feel like you have to like get comfortable with like failing and also putting your ideas out there because like especially like at least with me with other people like it was it was really hard for me to like like I don't know, put my own like flair into like our songs cuz like I don't want to like put something that I thought was bad when I thought everything you guys were creating was good, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I think like just like getting rid of that fear and just like trying yeah exactly what you're saying just like try and just like try to put yourself out there and like over time you will get better like it's just a fact that you will get better it's and also yeah having the fear of like i have to make something good right away mm-hmm. is definitely i feel like scares people away because you probably won't make something that you love right away but like if you make something then you're gonna make your progress at least yeah and it's so fun to listen back to old stuff that is bad because then you're just like it's still fun and like you see your like improvement and it's just like it's a beautiful thing and it's like and it's fun in the way of making something good is if you're afraid of not not afraid of making something that it maybe is bad and then sometimes you'll know, be like oh this is gonna suck but then i make it and then it's like oh it turns out pretty well yeah i 100 agree okay i have a band called cinnamon sticks mm-hmm. so what's next for you guys lollapalooza coachella my radio no. show oh radio, radio show, show. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't, we, I haven't played on our radio show either. Me and me and Sophie both. Yeah, what are we doing, Gavin? Uh, <laughs> the problem is getting your freaking drum set in the studio. Oh, in the studio, yeah. I mean, we you know brought, what, Gavin? We brought it to the student center already a couple Next times. Next week, Gavin, we should just bring it into your show. We should just play during your show. We could do that. We could do that. Have like a live studio audience. We should just in do, the we'd be like CSI. guys, battle bands preview. That would be fun. <laughs> um, I think that maybe is like a, that's like such an avoidant answer of the question. I would like, what we were doing before Battle of the Bands was just like, like, one thing was we wanted to try recording our music because we haven't done that. And second thing is like, getting out there, getting more experience. Yeah, literally just playing for people. I also think, uh, shows. I I like, all the stuff that I record, like when I record stuff without you guys is like on my phone because I don't have like a good computer to like make stuff on but I, I love like production is so interesting to me and I want to uh, get a computer that can run programs like that so I can get good at it and like record our stuff mm. and have the equipment to like record our stuff and like make it sound good as like yeah. something you could be can present to other people yeah I'm very excited for that because yeah. like we have some really cool songs honestly and like other people have said that too and I'm just excited to like put that down and just like have it and mm-hmm. listen to it whenever because all we have right now are like voice audio like recording is of us yeah, just like playing videos. in my living room <laughs> yeah. yeah and production is so interesting to me i like have been learning it without being able to do it so i'm really excited to nice but, yeah is there a youtube channel a tiktok a twitter an instagram we yeah, have instagram. an instagram we do have instagram. okay is it still called work to death yeah it? i don't know what how to change at least we they need, know the lore it's called to work to death <laughs> it's still called work to death yeah we should, we should make it in uh, tiktok too 
but I'm kind of scared of that. No, I got it. I got it. I'll be our TikTok okay. manager. Yeah, you can hit it I, yeah, I'm really good at that. I think if I was in charge, I'd make it way too hard. Yeah, <laughs> Instagram is called work to death. Mm. Work underscore to underscore death. Yeah. For you, now. You saw my the UIC radio Instagram takeover. That would be like, if I was in charge of our TikTok, that's all it would be. That would suck. <laughs> so you take that away from me. No, I, I, I haven't seen it, but I feel like you'd be good. I feel like people need that chaotic energy. It's too much green screen edits. Like that. Like <laughs> planes crashing and stuff. So it was nice to meet you guys. So yeah, thank, thank you, you for He's answering well. some of our questions. Can't wait to see you guys at the Battle of the Bands. Can't wait to see the viewers at the Battle of the Bands. My name's Tion. I was here with UIC Radio. And make sure to tune into my radio show, O Toodles, from 4 to 5 on Sundays. Nice. And, Cosmic uh, Bell Run. And, and Punk Tones on Thursday at, at 4. 4. <laughs> and Punk Tones Radio at 5 on Thursday. My little doesn't have a show. No. But also yours. Yeah, mine. <laughs> How's your bell rolling? Oh, yeah. <laughs>